C is one of the most widely used programming languages. It's fast, it's efficient, and it's incredibly powerful in the hands of an experienced programmer. But it can be quite hard to learn. And unlike many of the other languages that we use today, Java, Python, C Sharp, and so on, C does very little to protect you from making potentially catastrophic programming errors. Put simply, it's very easy to crash a C program. I'm Hugh, and in this course, I'm going to teach you C programming without, I hope, too many program crashes. This course is based on my book, The Little Book of C, but the course, unlike the book, is exclusively aimed at Visual Studio programmers. You don't have to buy the book to follow the course. You might, however, want to download the sample programs from the Bitwise Books website. Now, if you have Visual Studio installed with C support built in, you are ready to go. If you haven't got it installed, go ahead and do that now. I have another video which helps with the installation, and you'll find the link to that in the description down below. If you already have Visual Studio installed, but you haven't got C and C++ support, for example, if you only installed Visual Studio's C Sharp support, well, you need to add that now. To install C support, select Tools, Get Tools and Features, then in this dialog box, on the Workloads page, select Desktop Development with C++. Even though this only mentions C++, in fact, it will also install support for C. Visual Studio is a bit weird when it comes to the C language. It's a first-rate C development system, and yet it has an annoying tendency to hide C in the shade of C++. Don't worry, though, once you've got C++ installed, C will be installed too. Click the Modify button to begin installing. While you're waiting for the installation to complete, go to my next lesson, in which I'll tell you a bit more about the C language and its history. Thanks for watching. To be notified whenever I upload new lessons, subscribe to my channel and click the bell. To follow this course in order, bookmark the playlist which is shown under this video.